Hello everyone, this is Mrs Lane. This is task two of the Ian Murphy work that we're going to be doing this term. So what I'd like you to do this lesson is to draw this image which is um, a piece of Ian Murphy's work and it's a section of one of his building pieces. And what I'd like you to do first of all is draw out a box which is a similar size to the image that you have if you want to print it off or whether it's on screen in front of you. And it's slightly longer than it is wider and that's really important for us to then map out where all the details are going to go before we start putting any of the shading in. So the first thing that I'd like you to do is have a look at this top corner here where we have this big curve that's the bit that we're going to be drawing in first and we're not going to worry too much about all the little bits of detail all we're going to be doing first of all is just mapping out where our shapes go so this shape here it, it's there's a gap here where it slightly breaks that's okay we can rub that out afterwards and it's about here on the shape that you've drawn out yourself so what I'm going to do is put a little mark there of where it's where it starts at the top corner and then over here at the bottom on the right hand side it's not right in that corner there it's a little bit up so it's about there where it comes to and then we can put a little mark here where it sort of sweeps through and then what we'll do is start to sketch out very very lightly that sweeping shape so we've got that sweeping shape. Don't worry too much if it's not perfect right away. We're just getting the simple shapes marked in first. And then there's another line, which is here, which is going to be that next line that we put in. So we're gonna, again, put a little mark there, roughly in the middle there, and then where it sort of finishes at this point here. So I'm just going to put that next sweeping line in my drawing so that we've got it mapped out first okay and then we have another which is where this spirally shape comes in so we've got another sweeping line that we can put in just about there and it's slightly thinner this time it's not as wide as this one here it's slightly more narrow so pop, pop that one in and then about here, we have this sort of shape here where it crosses over on that spiral. So I'm just gonna roughly put that in just as a sort of rectangular box shape, just so that I know where that bit is. And for this spiral shape, that's quite a difficult, challenging shape. So the first thing that I want to do is put in this bit here because that bit there is a little bit easier for us to understand. So again, just a sweeping shape like this okay you can put a few sketchy lines until you're happy with the actual shape that you want okay and then we'll put that next line in because it's quite a thick line there okay and then we've got where it crosses over this shape here which we can do in a bit more detail shortly we then have this spiral, which kind of comes through this shape here and this shape that we've all drawn in. So what we'll do is just put a few little marks. We can widen up or narrow any of the shapes once we've got those first bits in. At the moment, all I'd like you to do is just get the rough outline in so that we can then start to add in more of the details and things afterwards. Okay, we're just at the moment getting in those little bits of key shapes. Now we've got our first spiral emerging there. What I'd then like you to do is think about this next bit that comes out from this spirally shape here. So we'll just put that bit in there and this bit so again not worrying too much if anything needs changing or altering we're just putting in those first shapes so that's 
go there. Now we have another little one that's going to come down into this corner here. But before I do that spiral, I'm going to, I'm going to put these little rectangular bits in. Because I think it's quite important for us to get those little shapes in before we attempt to put that spiral in. Because that spiral is quite a challenging shape to do. So again, we can now, because we've got those bits in, we can now get that, that curve a little bit easier and if it goes too wide or it goes too narrow again you can just use your rubber and rub out where so mine's a little bit narrow there so I'm just going to widen it up a little bit more and then we've got that curved bit there then that's probably the trickiest bit of that shape that we have we've got another little bit in here which is almost like a, a diamondy shape and we, because we've crossed these two shapes here we can just put that top bit in, which is already drawn for us with this curve. And then it kind of comes in slightly like this. Okay, now if you need to pause the video at any time and just make any changes, then you can do that. Okay, just pause the video and, and get yourself back to where you need to be. Okay, so that's our, our top bit there lightly lightly drawn in I'm not going to add any more detail to that yet what I'm going to do is focus on working on this little bit next which is the next sort of tricky bit now we've got this curve here that we've done and we've got this next curve here what we now need to do is the next brick it's almost like a brick or concrete section here and that's quite a big solid shape so about here there is a line which almost divides up that curve and then we've got another little bit that comes down in here so again your eyes should be constantly looking all the time looking back and forth at what you're drawing okay and this is all practice don't worry if it doesn't go right first time this is just lots and lots of practice for you to look at shapes and get those correct things in. So that's that kind of solid shape bit there. And then we've got another one that's kind of underneath and it's got almost like a little rectangular bit there. It comes out and then it goes across and it comes up here and we've got another little brick shape in this bit here. So we can add that bit in as well and there's like a little ridge there where it's going to be lighter again pause the video at any point if you want to go back or rewind and just get any of the bits that you may have missed and then this bit here I'm going to do another little line where it's lighter and as you can see there it just kind of goes off on that that edge down into this bit here which is going to be really dark but we're not going to worry about shading it in yet we're just getting in our first shapes and then we've got this little bit of ridge and then again another line that sort of runs parallel to that first very first line that we drew in okay so what we have now are the beginnings of some of these solid shapes that we've got appearing in this uh, Ian Murphy building section. Okay, so what I'm going to now do is bring in another line here because part of this brick area here needs to be lighter and part of it needs to be darker. So I'm just going to put those two lines in there because that again, like we did on that one side, it's just got that dark bit of shadow so putting that bit in like that okay and what we have then is some space here for where those bricks are going to start appearing so there's a brick that's in here all I'm doing at the moment is just putting a few little lines of roughly where those bricks are I'm not worrying too much yet about any of the shading or detail just thinking about those shapes and where roughly they are in this space so you kind of got a few bricks grouped together here in this corner and then you've got another bit here which 
goes quite dark in that area there but we'll, when we start adding the tone we can get those dark bits in okay so that's that's where my bricks are going to go and at the moment that's all I want you to do is just get that shape drawn in absolutely perfectly to the picture as much as you can and then we'll, we'll start to add the tone.